Okay, everyone, welcome back to part three of the series tutorial on the classroom. And today we're going to add our other walls. Okay? And we're going to do it easier this time. We don't have to really create anything, uh, just basically copy. Okay, oh, no, what I'm going to do is this, this center wall, we're going to actually just copy that. Okay, and then we're going to paste it anywhere and then we're going to go to edit and we'll go to uh, whoops physics and we're going to click on upright and then take off float in the air okay and then we're going to turn it around like this okay and we're not going to do any adjustments on it uh, we're going to keep it just like that because I'm going to show you why uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab it and we're going to take it closer to the edge of this like that okay and then we're gonna put it in direct mode keyframe okay now let's drag it to where you don't see any daylight okay now also what you may have noticed when I made the windows I forgot to add the bottom trim. Okay. Now, we're going to fix that. So, we're just going to use. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't quite get that close enough. So, what we're going to do to fix that trim problem, we're going to use something that's already in the movie suit. Let me lock that, one, that wall into place. Okay. We're going to use. Just a second a little bit too high. <laughs> Unlike that. Let's bring it down. I like that. Now I like it. Okay. Now to fix that trim, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. To fix that trim, we're going to use something already in the movie zoo. And we're going to go to create object. And we're going to use the oblong. Oblong. Okay. And then Close that out. We're going to adjust it. First, we're going to select a good color. I want to use that light brown, like that. Okay. Now, let's go to scale and click on unlink. Let's lower the width, about like that. I meant the height, I'm sorry. And then let's lower the width. Like so. How does that bring that over here? Okay, and let's adjust the length until we get it the way we need it. It's okay if you get it a little bit too long because we're going to use keyframe. Okay, and then right click, direct, first copy it. So right click, direct, movement. Then we're going to put it in that keyframe. And then add that keyframe. Let's bring it in. Then lock it. Now let's see how that looks. There we go. See? Instant fix. Didn't it have to go back into the modeler? Now let's paste that other one. Okay, and then we'll just right click, direct, put everything into animation because it turns off the physics. So whenever you're doing any kind of uh, editing, it won't disrupt that and mess it up. I use it like glue. So, okay, now we got those fixed. Now, like, this, like I said, we just added this wall. We used the same center wall. Okay, so we put that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another floor right here. So I'm going to copy my floor. I'm going to paste it. We'll move it over. Now you're not going to see the whole thing of this floor. I'm just putting it there because I'm going to put a wall right here. Okay. Now let's put that floor into 
keyframe. And then let's move, push it up a little. Look where it's lining up. Pretty close to it. And then we'll lock it. Okay. Now I'm going to add another wall right here and it's very simple we're going to keep using this uh, center wall so we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste go to edit and let's fix the physics like so now this wall we're going to make it thinner so close that out now let's go to scale I'll click uh, the link and then let's thin that wall out. Like that. And let's just add it right there. Let's straighten it up. Okay. May have to adjust the, the width. No, we don't. Let's see. Make sure I got it all straight. Yeah, that looks good straight. Okay, and then we're going to put it in keyframe. Okay, switch, keyframe, and then add it. Okay, now let's bring that in. Bring it down a little bit. I don't know, go back up. That's fine. Now lock it. Okay, it's still not. I guess I, I should have gotten in front of it. Unlock it. And let's bring it in. Like so. Bring it out. Oh, I want to cover up that. Uh... Okay. Now let's see. That looks good. So lock it. Now let's save. Okay. Now let's paste our wall again. Click on our edit. Physics. Click upright and then unclick the yeah. Okay, now we're going to bring um, bring that close by direct movement. Switch, keyframe, whoops, keyframe, not direct, keyframe. Alright, and then switch to direct. Okay, now let's bring that in closer. I like that. I think so. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. And I'm all locked up. Okay. Now we're not going to add an old back wall because the back wall we're, we're, we're going to keep it like this that way we can animate and do our things so the back wall is going to leave a space to work so okay now we're going to select that wall right there in the middle and we're going to copy it close this out and then we're going to paste that wall right here. Now turn it around. Click on edit. Go to physics. Click on upright. And then I'll float an air off. Now let's go over here and add this wall. Okay, right click. Direct. Movement. And then to keyframe. 
and let's put those two walls together. Like so. I'll put it right about like that. Perfect. I'm gonna bring it down if you have to, but we're not we're not. We're gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna lock it. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that again, paste it, take off its physics. And we're gonna set that aside over here. And now we're gonna create a floor. Copy the floor and then paste it. Move it over. Okay, about like Let's see, we'll put it over here, that. Let's click on this edit properties and then take it off, blow. Okay. Now we'll put that, let's close all this. Now we'll put that in direct mode. Frame. I'll move it in a little bit. Like that, and then lock it. Okay. Well, that looks good. But the thing of it is, we need another floor right there, so we'll paste it. Whoops. We'll paste that floor. Take off its physics. Okay. And then I'm going to scale it. Let's see. No, wrong way. This way. No, no, the scale won't work. Okay. You know, uh, let's see. All right, for now, let's take this. Let's, let's don't worry about that floor. Let's take that out. We're going to take this wall. I'm going to see how it looks first. We're going to take this wall. I'm going to rotate it like that. And we're going to put it. Okay. And then we're going to put it in direct. And squish it together. So. You're probably saying the corner looks crappy. That's okay. Yeah, it does look crappy. We gotta fix that. And we'll lock it. Okay. And we're going to make a vertical trim right here. Again, we're going to use an object in Muzu. And we're going to extract. Let's see. We'll use the cube. Okay. Use the cube, and then we're going to edit it, change its color to that light brown. Okay. Go to scale. Click unlink. Now let's thin it out. Like that. And then let's go on to the height. Maybe right there? Let's see. Oh, no. A little bit shorter. Okay, and let's turn it like this. Put it right in there like that. Now, put it in animation mode. 
cube, right? And then we'll put it right in there like so. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. And we're going to lock that. Okay. We're not going to go all the way out. Okay. We're not going to go all the way out on that wall. I mean, right here. We're not going to go all the way out. And we're going to make this wall. We're going to make, maybe put two of them together right here. Okay. And we're going to keep it like that. Like I said, we're going to keep the back part open because you need, you need, uh, whoops, close that. Because you need all this space to film when you're filming your, your video. So, okay, now we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it. And then take off this physics. Keep upright. And then we're going to flip it around. So. Now you don't want to, when you're doing it like this, depending on how big you want everything. So you don't really want to scale your walls because you know, it'll, it'll make your, your textures a lot bigger than the others. So you don't want to do any kind of scaling. If you do, then you'll have to go back and scale everything else. You really don't want to do that. So, now let's put this into animation, direct. Okay, direct movement. First, let me copy that. So, direction, direct, movement, uh, animation, keyframe. Add that keyframe. And let's put it in like so. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, what I have planned to do is, uh, let's see, let's lock that. What I have a plan to do is, is put a, maybe a bathroom door or another little hallway door there, but I need another wall, so here's the trick. So we'll paste that wall back in there and we'll put it right in behind it like that, okay? And we're going to put a door there. But first, let me uh, let me adjust it where it's straight. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. Now let's put it in direct. Remember, you always put everything in direct so you don't distort anything when you're doing any kind of adjustments to anything else. Because if you don't, the physics will just take will take over. So. And then let's, let's lock that. Okay. Okay, now we have all of our walls done. Okay. Let's start working on the material. Well, I meant the interior. So let's uh, save that first. Okay. Now, we are going to put a roof on there. But I'm saving that for last because we want to work on everything else and so the roof won't be in our way when we create everything else. Because when you go to like uh, import something and it'll end up on top and we don't want to do that. So, so let me save again because I'm not sure if I did. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> to start off with, we're going to go ahead and do some doors. And I'm going to use existing doors in MovieZoo. So, let's go to create. I mean, there's no sense. I can make my own doors. There's just no sense doing that when you already got doors available to you. And it's got some pretty good doors. So, um, let me select a good door that I want to use. We'll use this door right here. Okay. Click on that. We'll turn it around and we'll bring it over here. Move it out of the way. Whoops. Let me move him over there. <laughs> I'll move him over there. 
Make sure that door is a good right size for them. Let's bring this door closer. I think you'll have to uh, put an animation. So let's do that. put in an animation like that. Make sure we got it centered. And we got it straight. Okay, like that. Now let's adjust the colors. The door we want to be maybe, let's see, maybe a little darker. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then the trim, we want it to be the same colors. Let's see. Let's make it a little darker. About like that. Let's see. Now, a little bit more darker. Okay, that's good. We'll lock that door into place. And then save. Okay. Now we're going to put a door over here. So let's move our character back over here. And let's add another door. So we want a door that is better used for bathrooms, so we'll use this door. Let's make sure that door fits. So, Okay. Let me get it getting straight. Now I'm going to put this door in animation mode. And I'm just going to move it a little bit. I don't want that trim going through that door. I like that. Okay, now lock it. Okay. Now we didn't uh, get the, this wall closer. Let's unlock that door real quick. And let's bring that door right there, right about here. And then let's unlock the wall. Bring that wall in a little bit closer like that. And I'll lock both of them back into place. Okay. All right, now let's save everything. Now, one last thing for this part of the tutorial. Well, I don't want to make the tutorials too long now. So we're going to put a chalkboard. We're going to make a chalkboard. Okay, and to do that is we need to first make sure I saved it. Okay, now. Let's minimize Movie Zoo and bring up our uh, paint.net. Okay, let's delete that one and cut this out. I'll get rid of that. Now, let's choose a good color for a chalkboard. Click on More to bring up more options. Good color for a chalkboard. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's select our shape tool. And let's click it to where it will fill in. So we'll draw a square. About like that. 
and let's center it. Okay. Now, let's darken that same color like that. And let's go to our shape tool and let's uh, select the eclipse and then let's take off the fill with just one outline. A little kind of outline there, right there. So. We'll do it right about like this. Okay. Now, click on our paint bucket and just fill in the edges a little bit too much. Like that. Now, let's click on our paintbrush. And let's make our paintbrush about an 8 or a 7. We'll put some splashes right here and there. So yeah, that, and I'll put some over here. I'll make those a little bit bigger, like that. Right there. Okay. All right. Now I'll put some over here. Now, let's create, let's add a layer over that one. Okay, now let's select a white color. Now let's take, let's use our text tool. Okay, and then as you can see, the uh, properties for the text tool will show up. So let's drag the text that we want. And I have a chalk. A chalk type uh, font, so we'll do that. Click over here and let's adjust the width. Let me type my name. Oh, no. Let's make it a little bit, let's make it bolder and make it a little bit bigger, maybe a 24. And we'll type in my name. Uh, you don't have to use. Uh, my name if you don't want. So we'll bring that over here. Grab the select tool. And we'll kind of do that. And grab our move tool. And right on the corner when you get them two little arrows pointing up and down like that, that's telling you can rotate it. So we'll click on it and rotate it like that. Okay. So, all right. And then we'll do something else. We'll do like, let's see, four plus two equals six. All right, and we'll leave that right there. Okay, and let's see what else. And let's see what else could we use. Okay, here's a trick. Alright, we're gonna click on that font and we're gonna type in a W. Okay. I'm gonna select my tool, select tool, I'm gonna select that, grab my tool, I'm gonna move tool and I will stretch it out like so. Okay, and then we'll do that again, and then, well, let's take that off. Do that again, and then we'll use a capital I, okay. And then we'll stretch that. I'm gonna bring it over here. Whoop, select it. Okay. I'll cut that out. Okay, now let's add a layer. Now, paste that back in. Right over here. Okay, copy that. 
add a layer. Oh, you got to uh, paste, paste it. I'll move that right there. There. Shorten it up. Copy, paste. Move it over here. That and then we'll cut, we'll paste, move it right there, copy, paste, like that. All right, let's see what else. Um, We'll put another. We'll put another. Uh, I don't know. What would be a good idea? What, what else can we put on that chalkboard? Hmm. We'll do. Let's see. Okay. Wait a minute. We'll do uh, five. That'll be good. Okay. I know we'll make that a little bigger. We'll slant it like that. Now let's slant it this way. Yeah. Okay. Now, what else can we put on it? Okay, let's go to our shape tools and let's find a good shape. I don't know, I got an idea. Let's do this. Okay. And we'll do our text and then we'll put high. Select. Oh, I gotta adjust it like that. Okay, I think that's good enough for that chalkboard. Let's go to image and flatten everything. Okay, now let's create another layer. That. Now let's select a good brown color. Let's make our brown again. I like that. Our shape tool and let's go back to the rectangle keep it outlined and let's make it tell you what let's just keep it filled in go like so no no can't do that then we'll cover up the chalkboard we'll keep it at seven okay keep it at seven We'll make another one. Now let's use our paint tool and fill it in. Now, just select and let's make that color a little bit brighter. Like that. Now let's select our line curve tool and adjust it back to two. 
Now let's make our curvy wood lines. Okay. That. Do some more over here. And two more. Like that. Now, let's darken that color. And we're going to draw a rectangle right here. Let's Now let's make it all thicker. Maybe a four. Let's darken it a little bit more. Let's trace the inside of that like this. Okay, and now grab our line uh, curve tool and let's do our corners like that. have our chalkboard. So let's select this. Cut it and then new file. Then paste it. Whoops. See what I've done. Undo that. I forgot to uh, flatten the layers. Now. Cut. And then paste. There we go. And let's save that as chalkboard. Okay. Well, I'll just go back to our 3D milkshake. Create a new. Okay. I don't want to save. Let's create a box. We'll create a box. That. And let's scale that box from the side here, like so. Okay, and let's get, make our material. Okay, grab our chalkboard, and let's take away the alpha, ignore alpha. Now add our texture. That. And let's go to Windows Coordinator. And let's just scale it to where it's just on the inside of that frame. Like that. Okay. Let's undo that. Okay, that's not going to work. So we'll undo that and we'll just keep scaling it. So let's select all. And we'll just keep scaling it. Now let's see what that looks like. Get a little bit more on this scaling. Now, still a little bit more. Now 
Let's move it. Let's see. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, let's create another box. We'll start from this. Okay, and let's scale it from the side. Make it a little wider. Okay, now let's grab the corner top vertexes and we'll kind of angle it like that. Okay. Now, let's select that box. Okay, and let's move it back down. Let's get closer. Let's move these vertexes right on that. Top of the other vertex. We want it to connect. Whoops, not both of them. Okay. Now let's give that box a texture. Okay, and let's go to the texture coordinator and select that box. Okay, and let's scale it. I'll tell you what, let's go to the front of it. Or is it the left side or right side? Let's see. Scale it. Yeah, just the left side. I meant the right side. Let's scale it. And we'll put it right there. Let's select this other side. And we'll move that to right there. Now let's see. Perfect. Now let's duplicate that and go to the bottom. And let's move that bottom piece. right there. Now let's duplicate that again and let's rotate. We're going to move and let's move that right there. Okay, and let's select this vertex. Move it right there. Like so. Now let's go to the bottom and select these vertexes. Move it right there. Like that one, but not both of them. And we'll move it right there. Okay. Now let's select that duplicate and duplicate it again. And this time, let's, let's see if it goes to the back. Yeah, okay. And let's just move it into place. Let's see. Yeah. Zoom in closer, you may have to uh, do some adjustments. Okay, the best thing to do is, is select all these vertexes right here, click scale, and let's just scale all those tightly together. Like so. Go over here and do the same thing. Back, let's do all corners.
Hey, that was good. And there's our chalkboard. We're not going to worry about the back part. Okay. I mean, if you want to, you could, but, you know, we're not going to worry about it. So that way you'll have your side that, you know, you can choose from. So we're going to select all. And then group it all together. And we'll name it chalkboard. Okay, and then click rename it. Now let's save it as a for a CE, not ESC file, sorry. Export it as an ASC file. Name it chalkboard. Okay, save it. Now let's go into our movies here. Now let's paste that chalkboard up on that center wall. So import it, create, import, chalkboard. Keep everything the same. And we'll keep it on float. And keep it upright. Now let's bring it in. Like so. I think that chalkboard's a pretty good size. I think it's the right size we need it. Let's bring him up over here. We don't want the chalkboard too high where he can't reach it. So we'll bring the chalkboard down. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and scale that chalkboard a little bit bigger. Like so. A pretty good sized chalkboard. So, put it in there like that. Okay, let's get it closer. Put it in animation mode. And then let's bring it into the wall. Bring it to the wall. So, and let's bring it down. There. Yeah. Closer to that edge. Because remember, I want to I wanna use that, uh, this trim where they're putting erasers. We're going to put erasers and chalks and stuff on that. So let's kind of like adjust it to where it's like there. That's good. And we'll lock it into place. Let's make sure it's in the center of that wall though. Let's unlock it so it's not quite in the center. Let's center it up. Or too close, or too too much in. That's good. Now let's lock it. Close this out. And close that out. Okay, we got all of our walls, our doors, our windows. Uh, we got everything except for all the school desk, the teacher's desk, and that. And that's going to be <laughs> in part uh, four. So y'all stay tuned for that, and y'all have a blessed day.